Hello, hello, my name is Erin from LizzieandErin.com. Today I am going to do a quick, easy little Valentine's craft for you guys. We're gonna use a uh, basic uh, eight by 10 frame. I already painted it white. Um, it was from a thrift store and um, I just pop out everything out of, that was inside the frame, I just pop it all out of there. And so I'm just left with an empty frame like this. We're also gonna use uh, construction shims. And um, we're gonna be using the smaller ones. Um, they come in real, real big ones, and then they have like, like six inch ones. And um, they're longer than six inches. I'm sorry, I don't know how long they are. But they're the smaller ones, uh, the shims. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, they're normally over by like the cabinet section, normally, like on an end cap. We're also gonna be using some Waverly Antique Glaze to stain our shims. We're gonna use a hot glue gun and a roll of ribbon from Dollar Tree, you guys. It's just pink burlap ribbon. You can use any kind of ribbon that you have. Um, definitely use what you have first, okay? All right, you guys, so let's get started. So, like I said, I already went ahead and I just dry brushed on a bunch of white paint. Um, then I took my sanding block and just kind of went around the edges and, and distressed it a little bit. And when I say sanding block, I am talking about this guy right here that you can, whoop, that you can get from the Dollar Tree, just like that. So, Let's get started, y'all. All right, so flip that guy over. Actually, we're gonna set that to the side. We need to do this part first. Okay, so we are going to be doing our shims. Now, on the shims, there is a, a a fat side and a skinny side, okay? So when I go to put them on my frame, that's the, the wider side, this is the smaller side, I, I like to do them flip-flop like this. Just just gives your uh, the background a little more like texture, a little bit more going on. So, I'm going to lay them out how I'm going to put them in the frame. Wide side here, short side here, wide side here, short side here. That way I know which ones need to be, uh, the fronts and the backs that need to be stained. Okay. And my uh, frame was a tiny bit short. So this is actually uh, the end of the shim, the, the thin part of it. And I just cut them in two little strips that I'm gonna need at the uh, bottom of my frame because it was a tiny bit short, but not short enough, not wide enough for a whole shim. So that's how I'm gonna fix that problem. All right, so now I'm gonna take my uh, Waverly Antique Glaze. I'm also gonna take my water bottle that is, is just plain water inside here. I'm gonna spritz my shims just so that my, my uh, glaze here goes on a little bit easier and it doesn't stain it as dark. If I can get the spray, just plain water. If you don't have a sprayer, just use like a cup of water and get your uh, brush wet. Okay, so now we're just gonna brush on the stain onto our shims. I love how these look um, stained. They're really, really pretty actually. I love it. If you don't have shims and you don't want to go hunt down shims, um, paint sticks are perfectly fine too. And you can get those um, from your Lowe's, Home Depot, um, your local hardware store. And um, sometimes you can even go to the, the paint counter and ask for paint sticks. And sometimes they will just give you paint sticks. I have heard of people getting paint sticks for free like that. But you can also buy them at Lowe's or Home Depot near the paint section for 98 cents for a pack of 10 of them. So uh, they're not they're not expensive at all. And they will work just fine for this project. You'll just cut them down to fit your frame. You'll cut the paint sticks down to, to fit your frame. I am just going through and staining each of these little shims. Easy, easy, easy. This could be done, for, uh, this one right here we're doing for a Valentine's Day theme um, with a heart. It's kind of, it's a, the, past, the ribbon that we're using is kind of pastel, so it could definitely hang around until Easter time too. Um, but this, you could do this for any season. Um, I did this for the same exact thing for um, fall, and I did a pumpkin, and it turned out really cute. So um, at Christmas time, you could do a Christmas tree, and... Um, uh, St. Patrick's Day, do a four-leaf clover. Y'all get, y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> do an Easter bunny. 
or a carrot. Just throwing out ideas. I'm almost done getting the stain on here. There we go. Ooh, that's dark. Whoops. All right. Easy, easy. All right. I also made sure to lay them down in the, the same direction uh, that I had set them up. And just add a little more stain to some of those ones on the top. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my heat gun. My heat gun is from Harbor Freight. Um, they have sales all the time. I think mine was about 10 bucks and um, it works just fine. So if you are in the market for a hot glue gun, I mean a heat gun, definitely check out Harbor Freight. I'm gonna get these nice and dry because my, um, we're gonna hot glue these into our frame. So you want them dry so that they, the hot glue will stick to your shims. If they're wet, your hot glue's not gonna stay. away. All right, now we're going to pull our frame back over and we're going to lay it to where the back of the frame is up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start hot gluing these in place just like this. Flip them over just like that. I've got a thick side over here and a skinny side over here and I'm, there's a lip inside of my, my frame here. I'm going to do a nice uh, line of hot glue all the way around like that and then set it in place just like that same thing for the next one thick side over here skinny side over there just like that and just keep on going So far, so good. Let me flip it up so you guys can see where we're at so far. Cute, cute, cute. What do y'all think? I love it. Perfect. Okay. Keep moving right along here. bowed a little bit maybe from getting wet I don't know that one's weird that's okay keep on going you know what looks like I have an extra one so I'm going to take that one that's funky out and we're going to use this one add some more hot glue whoop nope we're going to go back with the funky one that one's a little too short Let's see. There we go. All right. And the last one. Whoops, did I already hot glue that one in? Okay. Now I've got those two, those two sticks that I said that I needed for the end. So I'm just gonna get those in place. Yeah. 
they don't lay perfect, but they're they'll they're perfectly fine for this because all I'm doing is just trying to make sure that no, that you can't see through the frame, so there's not just like a hole at the bottom. Okay. Now let me show you guys what it looks like. It's a beautiful frame with a beautiful background. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to attach a ribbon heart to the front of our our frame here. Now, this is from Dollar Tree, this ribbon. And what I did was, so I cut, let's see how many strips. I cut one, two, three, four, five. I cut five strips, okay? And what I did was I laid them over the top of each other and started forming a heart and I cut it as I was going. And let me flip that over so you guys can see how that looks. Just like this. Okay, so I've got like the basic heart going on, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hot glue them together and then I'll make more cuts to make it look better, uh, like a better heart, okay? So I'm gonna, and I, all of these are just laying on top of each other. So all I'm gonna do is do a thin line right here. And hot glue that in place. Make sure you're not hot gluing it to your surface that you're working on. And then right here. Once they're all glued together, then it's gonna be easier to cut. So, so just get the basic idea of, of the heart, the ba basic outline of a heart, and then hot glue it together, then cut to make it look better. All right. Continue on. I love this because it, layering them on top of each other like that just gives it more texture, I think. And I love it. Okay, last one. So you'll start with five strips of ribbon and then just lay them, overlap them, each, each overlap them and just start taking your scissors and cutting uh, until it starts to look like a heart, okay? So I see over here, this side is a lot longer than this side. So let me straighten that out. All right, I think that's gonna do it right there. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. We've got our little heart. This side's a little, this has like a straight line kind of sorta, and this one doesn't. I'm just gonna run with it. I um, I don't hate it, um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run with it. So, and nothing that I do, I don't want any of it ever to be perfectly perfect. I want it to be perfectly imperfect, so. We're gonna run with that. I have hot glue stuck to my fingertips. Okay, so now we'll grab our frame again and we will find the center of our frame. This is just simple and cute, you guys. I love the simplicity of it. And um, I love using the different elements, uh, you know, wood and burlap in an old frame. It's perfect. 
Okay, I think I am happy with that right there in the center, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hot glue that in place. Let me go around. There we go. Pressing your heart in place. Too cute. All right. There we go, you guys. I think I'm gonna add one more thing. This is really, really cute. Just the way it is. But I think we're just gonna add one little bow on the corner up here, a simple little bow. I think that would be really cute. This ribbon that I'm using is from the Dollar Tree also. So, let's see. I'm just looking for another ribbon to use too. Let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. No, I don't wanna do red. Let's just do, we'll just do the polka dots. This is super cute and simple. We're gonna keep it super cute and simple. Okay, so I've got my three little pieces of ribbon here. I'm just gonna overlap them. I'm gonna be putting a uh, button in the center of these. So, um, It will look more like a bow once I get the button on there. Whoops. Now let's figure out where we want our little bow. Hmm. Ooh, I think I like it in the middle. Okay, yeah, let's do that in the middle. And this is really looking like Easter-y too. Like this could stay up for Easter and it would be really, really cute. Okay, now let's find a cute button. There's a cute pink one. There's a cute, um, it's like a pearly white one. No. Hmm. Let's check this other bag. Stands out a lot, a little too much. Um, so indecisive. How about black? Actually, out of all of those, I think that one's my favorite. Let's do black, and then how about I've got this little small pink one. We could do in the center of the black one. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, that is it, you guys. What do you think? I love it. I think it is perfectly Valentine-y, and I am definitely going to use it inside my house to decorate for the upcoming holiday. All right, you guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, cute, quick craft, and um, make sure that you are liking our YouTube channel and so that you're sus subscribed. There's a subscribe button. Just boop. Hit, hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss a thing. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all again soon. Bye.